What is the kindest thing you've done or seen? I was selling my bike when I was a teen for $30. Got a hit and set up a location. Ended up being greeted by two kids on a single bike. One on the pegs. And the kid with the bike bought his friend my bike so they could ride together. I broke my foot while bouldering a week into my semester abroad. I had never been out of the country before. So I was absolutely panicking. A total stranger came right over after I fell. Recorded important info for the paramedics. And spent the next 10 or so minutes while waiting for the ambulance asking me questions about my studies and my research. I mentioned I was a student. He asked such thoughtful questions and was so kind and able to calm me down. Even though I was absolutely freaking out. In 6th grade. It was two stops away from my stop a man was just laying on the sidewalk. Our bus was stopped for a long time. I noticed the bus driver wasn't on the bus and I looked outside and the guy was just laying there. Our bus driver is really nice so her being the nice lady she as she rushes out of the bus but check his pulse and calls an ambulance. The bad part was some people on my bus were talking crap saying I bet he overdosed on something and almost after that my mom comes to pick me up. Turns out the next day our bus driver said the man from yesterday didn't overdose. He went into diabetic shock. Or I think that's what she said, but she basically saved someone. I was talking to some random guy in the bar. And he said he was having surgery the next day, and didn't have someone to pick him up after. I ended up driving him there. Sitting with him, before he went back. Calling his parents, when he got out. Sitting with him in recovery. Picking up his post-op meds. Driving him home. And making sure he was okay before I left. Never saw him again. And that's okay. Edit. AWW. Thanks guys. To answer a couple questions. Dude was just grabbing a bite to eat before his cute off time. His girlfriend had just broken up and moved. And his backup fell through. Guy just needed a hand. Seemed like no big deal at the time. I saw a neighbor boy practicing his jump shot into some tree branches in his front yard. I had a portable hoop in the back from when I moved in that was taking up space. So I walked over and offered him the hoop for free. I only lived there for the next year or two. But it was almost non-stop basketball dribble next door after that. I saw him. His sister. Parents. Aunts. Uncles. Even a grandparent or two all take a couple shots at the hoop over time. It felt good to know his family got so much use out of it. My dad ran into an old high school friend he hadn't seen in years. He learned that the man had cancer. That he had no family, except a son in college in another state, and that he was basically dealing with it all by himself. So my dad started taking him to his appointments and out to lunch. He even organized how to take his crazy number of prescriptions, since it was confusing to figure out when to take them, when they all had different times and requirements. There were about 18 of them, I think he said. Then, when his friend died, my dad helped his son do all of the end of life arrangements. My dad is my hero. He is such a giving person and I strive to be like him. Not the kindest, but very simple pay it forward. This young lady at church played keyboard. But her hands were hurting a lot, and she couldn't play. She was only 19 or 20. She thought she had early arthritis, but had not seen a doc. I told her just go, and get some blood work and see what's going on. I'll cover the cost, and if it's something major then you'll at least know. Turns out she was just VD deficient and just needed to take VD and get some sun. Best money I ever spent, and she was back to normal in a few months. She'd been in pain for over a year. One day after work I noticed an older lady struggling with her groceries at the bus stop. I offered to carry her bags and ended up walking with her to her house. The kindest thing anyone has done for me actually happened just the other day. I was explaining to one of my friends from choir that... Since I'm no longer working, I can't afford to sign up for the summer. She immediately offered to pay for my term, and wouldn't take no for an answer. Before I could finish thanking her she messaged me saying, that she already signed me up, and paid because that's what choir moms do. There was also that time four of my colleagues pulled their money, and got me a massage. I'm truly blessed. 
I was in a car accident when I was 4 years old that left me in a coma. My sister, who was also in the car, died the next day. I was unconscious when my sister's funeral was going to occur, which meant I would be left alone at the hospital. My preschool teacher, Mrs. Ima, offered to sit with me and hold my hand at the hospital so that my parents could attend my sister's funeral and wouldn't have to worry about me being alone. It is the kindest gesture anyone has ever done for me. I was at an arcade one time and I saw this kid play a claw machine. The kid was trying to get a Batman plush and failed to win it. Once the kid left, I gave it a try and I managed to win the Batman plush. I found the kid who wanted to win the Batman plush and I gave him the Batman plush. He was so happy to have it and it made me feel good that I made someone's day. I worked at Starbucks. One morning around 6.30 a customer came in and I asked how she was doing. Oh it's already crazy and I haven't even started. She replied. To make her day go a little easier, I gave her her coffee order for free. A few days later, I was having a terrible morning. 6.30 and already chaos. She came in, asked me how I was doing and I said the above. A couple hours later, she came back with a gift bag for me. Inside was a nice bottle of wine. We'd both had bad mornings. And someone's small gesture had made the day just a little bit nicer. Sometimes when my sister is sleeping or napping I plug her phone into charge so when she wakes up it'll be 100% edit. And OMG I didn't expect all this kindness thank you and stay safe. This past Christmas, I knew one of my coworkers a single mom with three kids. Recently divorced and just moved back home from across the country was worried about money and the upcoming holiday. I wanted to help, but I didn't want to hurt her pride. I gave my closing manager $50 to give to her anonymously. It wasn't much. I couldn't spare a lot. I still don't know how she reacted or if she told anyone. She's a nice lady and works really hard. I was breaking down in the middle of the street and sitting on the sidewalk. A stranger girl came and patted on my shoulders, kept talking about random stuff trying to make me laugh, and calm and she managed to do so. It was the most wholesome thing that ever happened to me. When I was a teen mother feeling judged by the church, one of the older ladies gave me a present that was a beautiful scented soap to use for my first postpartum. Post birth. Shower. It was so small. Yet an act of kindness I still remember nearly 30 years ago. I've given a lot of women nicely scented products since. I wish I told her at the time what it meant to me. I still adore products with the same scent and the shower I took with that soap still stands out as one of the best I've ever had. I've been buying groceries for 3 to 5 households a week for the last month. Most of these people I've never met in person. I just drop the stuff off at the front door and then leave. Years and years ago, I saw a former coworker at the rec center. She'd just started working there. We got to talking. And she mentioned that she had no groceries and no money until her first payday in a couple weeks. When her shift ended, I drove her to the grocery store. I told her to buy whatever she wanted. I paid for her groceries. Then took her to Chipotle afterward, so I could buy her lunch and break a $10, so she'd have bus fare available for the rainy days coming up. My mom had to go to the courthouse in downtown Detroit to finalize her divorce after her second marriage didn't work out. It was coincidentally on her birthday. She was feeling crappy given the circumstances. But as she was walking into the courthouse a homeless man said good morning and told her to have a nice day. His simple kindness made her day better. When she was leaving he was still outside. She folded up a $100 bill she just happened to have on her, gave it to the man, and told him to have a Merry Christmas. It was December, and walked away. I think about that often. It was Christmas. I was out in a bar, naturally a little tipsy, went to the bathroom, and saw a woman there wiping drunk people's hands. She looked miserable, obviously hated her job, but had no choice. I went to the bathroom, came out and refused her service. I could dry my own hands just fine. Handed her 20 pounds and said Merry Christmas. She jumped to her feet, hugged me with tears in her eyes, said thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Over and over. I didn't think 20 pounds could have that effect on someone. That's when I realized how easy it is to make someone happy, if you would just try a little. I, I mentioned on another thread how I'd love to have a Super Nintendo to comfort play Super Mario on because it reminds me of the good old days with my bro. With And some random lovely stranger replied and said she'd give me hers. It's in the mail. Made me so happy that someone was so randomly kind. Just finished college to be a teacher. But until August I'm working at a doctor's office. We've had a ton of our much older patients call in cancelling their appointments due to COVID-19. Had an older couple in their 90s call because their medication ran out. Didn't have a way to get their refill so I went and picked it up for them. Drove to their house to put it in their mailbox. And they thanked me a lot after. Didn't even think twice about doing it. An older couple needed help and I had the ability to do it. Just have to treat everyone how you'd like to be treated. I'm trying to put my tiny toddler to bed. We were in total silence for 40 minutes. I thought she was sleeping, but when I coughed, she broke the silence and said, Bless you. You okay? And to me, I saw this as super kind. She wanted to know if I was okay. She's only one. I was waiting for my mum at a shop when I saw an elderly man drop some money. I didn't know who he was, so I said hey sir you dropped some money he smiled and thanked me. He picked it up, and before he left he came over to me, and gave me a $2 coin, and said thanks again and left. I didn't expect that. I just did what was right and somehow got rewarded. I hope that elderly guy is okay during this COVID-19 situation. My high school government class was graded on a curve, and I was killing it. I was way ahead of everyone else. But I wasn't planning on going to college. And the next best had a scholarship riding on her GPA. So I deliberately skipped the final exam. When the teacher told me he couldn't give me the top slot, I asked him to give it to her. And explained why. He never looked at me the same after that. We both knew I had the material nailed. The final exam would have only proven the already obvious. She needed the grade. And it would have meant nothing to me. She went to college and eventually became a vice president of a regional bank. I'm happy for her.